In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the vertices of a triangle when you're given the midpoints of the sides. We're going to be talking about the mid-segment theorem. So let's just uh, take a triangle like this, for example. If we find the midpoint of this side so that these two are congruent, and we find the midpoint of this side so that these two segments are congruent, and we connect those two midpoints, this length that I'm drawing right here is referred to as a mid-segment. And what's interesting about the mid-segment is that it's going to be half of this base and it's also going to be parallel to that base. Now if I find the midpoint of this side and I connect these two, this becomes a mid-segment and it's parallel to this side and it's going to be half as long. So that means that this length, this length, and this length are congruent. And then if I look at these two midpoints, that's a mid-segment, that's going to be parallel to this side over here and it's going to be half as long. So the key is it's parallel and half of that other side. So let's take a look at an example now. So say for example we have a triangle like this one right here. And what we want to do is we want to find the uh, actual triangle. So these points represent the midpoints, okay, and so these are like our mid-segments. But how do we get the original triangle? Well what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pay attention to the fact that this mid-segment is going to be parallel to the base. So if I go over here up to this other uh, midpoint, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the slope of this mid-segment. I'm going to say rise 1, run 3. So if I repeat that pattern, rise 1, run 3, and I put a point here, and I can do the same thing down 1 and left 3. That's also the same slope of 1 third. And if I connect those, that's the side of our triangle. So for example, if this slope here is, let's see, rise 3, run negative 2, so I went up 3, left 2, I repeat that same process, rise 3, left 2, and I can also go the other direction, I can go down 3 and right 2, so that's the same slope, and if I connect those, that's the side of our triangle. And then you could repeat it again, you could say, well, let's look at this uh, mid-segment right here, this has a slope of 1, 2, 3, 4, run 1. So if I repeat that, rise 4, run 1, or I could go down 4, left 1. But you can see we already have those um, vertices of the triangle. So that's how you would construct the triangle given the midpoints of the triangle, or you could be given these mid-segments here, and you got it. So I hope that helps you to understand the mid-segment theorem and how to construct the triangle given those midpoints. I'll see you in the next video.